Okay, Professor Deskins here. I have another uh, short video that I want you to uh, watch and learn a little bit more about chemical engineering. And in this video, will be about process units, which is just a fancy word, a bunch of words to describe the various units that you may encounter during uh, your, your, this course and other courses into the future. So you remember in class that we often deal with these block diagrams where we have something coming in and maybe something coming out. Well, I just wanted to discuss some of the common units, and this is a unit right here, that we may encounter uh, during our courses uh, in chemical engineering. So one of the most basic units, which is you see all the time, is just a mixer. And that's simply taking one or more streams, um, one or more streams, and putting them together and mixing them together. And the components just simply mix together. So that's one common uh, uh, unit we may encounter. Another unit is a reactor. And in a reactor, we might have A plus B going to C. So you might have A, B here, and then the outlet may be a mixture of A, B, and C, depending on how much uh, reaction takes place within our uh, reactor. There is uh, another set of common units. Let me just uh, see if I can... Let's see here. Let me delete these out of the way here. Another common set of units that we'll encounter are separation units. So oftentimes when, oftentimes when we have our product or some sort of uh, stream that has some flow of chemicals, we need to separate some of the components from that uh, stream. So an example would be gasoline. If you had gasoline and it had some water in it, you wouldn't want to put that in your engine of your car because the water uh, would not, not do well for your engine. So you would have to have some sort of process to remove the water from the gasoline. Or if you were... For example, producing candy. You worked at a candy factory and you were producing candy and, and maybe there was a component of the candy that gave the candy a bitter taste. You would have to have some sort of process or you'd like some sort of process to remove that, that component so the candy would be sweet and people would like it and it would sell, etc. So separations is, is very common. One of the most common separations units we encounter is distillation. And in distillation, we have one, sometimes more than one, inlet stream. Here I've only shown, I hit, so I have this inlet stream, and we have these two outlet streams. And what happens is we add heat to this stream. This is usually a liquid stream coming in, and we add some heat to it. And what happens is the more common, or excuse me, the more volatile components go up to this top stream, and the less volatile components go down to this bottom stream. So we get essentially uh, a higher concentration of the more volatile up here, a lower concentration of more volatile down here. So it's a way to separate two different, uh, two or more different components uh, from each other. Another type of process is crystallization. And in crystallization, let me draw two outlets here. We have here some inlet stream and then two outlet streams. And then crystallization, what we're essentially doing is we have some liquid stream coming in and we are crystallizing or forming a solid crystal from one of the components. So in this case, we may have some crystals, solid crystals coming down here. So again, liquid coming in and then we might have a liquid here, but we might have liquid and solid here. So it's again a way to separate two components based on their phase, phase behavior, based on whether they will crystallize or not. Um, there, are, there are many other different types of... Uh, let me just delete that out. Delete this one out. There's, let me just mention a few more types of uh, separations processes. One is... Um, Absorption, 
So in this case, we have two inlets, two outlets. And in this case, what we have going on here is we have one inlet that's a liquid, and in this liquid, this liquid essentially is designed to remove something coming in from this bottom stream here. So let me just write this here. So this is liquid gas, and then we have liquid gas. So what will happen is we'll have some component here in the gas is it'll flow up through this process. It'll mix with this liquid here, and that liquid will absorb some of this gas and come out here. So what we have here is that some of the gas components are removed. So some of the gas components in this inlet are removed as it goes out and get concentrated in the liquid. So that's just a, another common uh, separation unit. And um, you know there are many, many more separations units out there. Um, I'm sure we'll encounter some in this course and also in your some, some of your other courses. But I just wanted to give you a heads up or give you a little intuitive feel as to what type of units we may encounter. Um, so just to summarize, the ones, we, oops, let's see, here, yep, mixers, reactors, and we'll talk more about reactors later in this part in, in a week or so, and then separations. So these are all very common units that we will encounter. So, all right, thank you. Have a good day. Bye.